What do you think? All right, good morning, afternoon, or whatever it may be for you. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen for this platform backend update. Share screen. All right, this should be working. If it's not, then someone please shout. Otherwise, I'll continue as normal. Uh, welcome to this platform backend update. My name is Dawa Man, and I will be taking you through this um, and talk to you about what we did the last couple of weeks and what we're going to do the next couple of weeks. Last time, I promised you that you wouldn't see me for five weeks, but because of some internal shuffling in the uh, functional group update schedule, it's actually only been two. So let me go over the last two weeks. Um, first, we had Bob van Landa join the team on March the 6th. Then one day later, we finalized GitLab 9.0, feature freeze happened, um, and we got these six major features in uh, that I already talked about last time. And then on the 8th, we started development of GitLab 9.1, and I'll talk in the next slide a little bit about what's going to be in that with one release. So in the next five weeks, the first thing we'll do is nine, uh, on March 22nd is to release GitLab 9.0, which will have the aforementioned features. And of course, since there's two week window between the 7th when the feature freeze happens and the 22nd when the actual release takes place, there will be a number of regression fixes in there for things that we um, you know, accidentally broke or, or otherwise features that were left unfinished for whatever reason. Uh, well, on the 7th, we're gonna get those fixes in on the 22nd so that any customers who install 9.0 will not be running into any of those issues. Then on the 7th, two weeks later, um, three weeks after today, we will be finalizing GitLab 9.0 and 9.1. The feature freeze will take place. And some of the major features we expect to go in this are first, numerous performance improvements. Um, we didn't work on so many performance things for 9.1. Sorry, wow, I'm messing up the version numbers here. For 9.0, we didn't do a lot of performance improvements, but for 9.1, we have five or six of those uh, scheduled as deliverable. These effect pages like uh, the branches page, which can be really slow, the project index, which can be really slow, uh, and a couple more pages that users use a lot, but that currently have a 99th percentile uh, over 10 seconds, which means that one in 100 users um, sees this page taking 10 or more seconds to load, which of course, is quite ridiculous. The second thing we're going to work on is protected tags. This is uh, kind of an evolution of the protected branches feature we've had for a while. But we got requests from people who want um, to be able to also protect tags. For example, if they have a V x dot y tag for a version of their software, they don't want any random people, um, any random person, to be able to create or delete those. Uh, they would rather have this be limited to only masters or, or owners of the group, for example. But this is something we're going to build. Uh, then third, we're going to integrate with Microsoft Teams. Um, this is not going to be a very, very deep integration yet. It's going to be similar to the integration we have with um, Slack and Mattermost as far where it's limited to um, automatically sending a message to one of these rooms uh, in Microsoft Teams when, for example, push comes in or a build fails, that kind of stuff. It's not going to be slash commands yet, which we have for Mattermost and Slack, uh, but this will already be a first step into supporting this new uh, collaboration tool by Microsoft. Then for fourth, there's going to be a number of improvements to the nested groups feature that we are going to release with 9.0. You can already, already try it out on GitLab.com since this is running a release candidate of 9.0. Uh, but on the 22nd, this will be available to um, our customers and users who built the package. And then the next month, we're going to be um, shipping some improvements to this based on feedback, but also based on some things we know that we need to change or we want to change, but that we're not, the nest, we're not necessarily blockers for the initial release. Um, then numbers five and six are continued work on geo disaster recovery and Elasticsearch. Um, these are two projects that have been going on for a couple months already, three or four, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and these are basically long-running efforts to uh, well build a really big feature for geo so that customers can use it as a disaster recovery um, follower method and Elasticsearch improvements where we are 
working on the performance um, aspects of Elasticsearch indexing, because right now we, so we have supported Elasticsearch for a little over a year, I think, um, and a lot of customers are running it and everything's working fine, but at GitLab.com scale, where you're talking hundreds of thousands or millions of users of projects, um, we have had to disable it because the indexing was just taking too much time, and now we are working on improving this so that we can start using Elasticsearch on GitLab.com. Um, and of course, those are not the only six things we're working on. There's a lot more. If you check out these slides, then uh, you can click that more link and you'll see the overview. Basically, it just links you to the issue index for 9.1 platform and then marked as deliverable. Uh, and you'll find some nice improvements there, bug fixes, uh, performance things, and also some smaller uh, improvements to features that customers requested. And then on April 8th, after the 7th, um, after GitLab 9.1 is finalized on the 7th, we will start development of GitLab 9.2. But since we usually don't um, work more than you know a couple of weeks in ahead in, in terms of scheduling, I have no idea yet what's going to be in mind too. But it will probably be a good mix of features, performance improvements, and bugs as most months. So that's the end of this update. If you have any questions, I'm going to switch back to um, I'm going to try to use the shortcut to disable this window or the screen sharing feature. If I can't manage that, then let me just see how this would work. Okay, okay, okay. Zoom, where are you? Uh, wow. Does anyone happen to know the screenshot for quitting out of Zoom screen sharing? Because it's not working for me. Because I also cannot find a window anymore. So I don't think, ah, okay, cool. Looks like I found it finally. Or I haven't. No, I haven't actually. Wow. I think we're completely lost right now. Uh, should top share. Okay, I think I finally found it. Uh, let's see if anyone posted anything to the chat. Apple Shift S. Uh, I was, I, I swear I was trying that. Well, Sean says it's not right now running A17.3. Oh, okay, GitLab.com is still running A17.3. It's not running GitLab 9.0 yet. Um, then that should be happening today, tomorrow, one of these days. And then you'll be able to try the nested groups feature on there as well. Um, all right, thank you all of you at GitLab and all of you might be watching from home for attending this platform update. And I hope to see you in five weeks and not too like last time. Uh, and I hope that I'll have a little more to tell you about what we've shipped or what we're going to ship in 9.2 and what we've actually managed to ship in GitLab 9.1. And with that, have a great rest of your day.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 